Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making this simple and just super effective and lovely smooth and shine hair serum. The core idea for this hair serum was to create something that was, you know, full of things that were awesome for the hair in a watery base so that, you know, a small amount could be applied. It would help tackle things like static and uh, it would be hard to use too much and really weigh my hair down because that happens very, very quickly for me. Our key magic making ingredient is some polyquaternium 7. So this is a cationic copolymer. And I really, really fell in love with this ingredient in my foaming shaving cream. It just gives the most incredible slip finish, just gorgeous. It just, it makes things feel great, be it skin or hair. And another major bonus of it is that it doesn't smell like fish butts, like some of the um, cationic ingredients can. Honeyquat, for instance, is also a you know a liquid, water soluble cationic you know conditioning ingredient, but it smells really gross and polyquaternium seven doesn't, so that gives it a pretty significant leg up in my books. You'll also find some cetrimonium chloride for added conditioning in this hair serum. A cetrimonium chloride is a fantastic detangling agent, so I feel like that's always a good thing to have. Tangles are no fun. After that, we've got some great hydrating uh, humectanty type ingredients. So there's vegetable glycerin and panthenol. Our scent comes from some rose hydrosol. And if you're not a huge fan of rose, feel free to use a different hydrosol. I also have instructions for using a fragrance or an essential oil if you'd like to do that on the blog. So that's down in the description box below linked, or you can go to humblebeeandme.com and search for the recipe name. So just a reminder, there is tons of great extra information on the blog. I've got the whole recipe written out. You'll find a lot more information about why certain ingredients were chosen and how this recipe came together. And you can also look up the ingredients in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia to learn more about them individually and why they're used in formulas, where you can buy them and substitution options. Because nothing in this recipe needs to be heated to work with, this recipe is super easy to make. It is cold processed, so basically just weigh everything into your beaker or even straight into your container mix and you're done. So come on, let's get started. So we've got everything we need right here. We have a scale that's accurate to two decimal points. We have a small beaker, a little mini mixer and a little uh, stirring rod, and we have all of our ingredients. So I'm going to just make this by weighing everything directly into our beaker. And so uh, to ensure that I'm not uh, overshooting and over pouring things, I have little pipettes or little dropper tops for every ingredient. So we are going to start with our distilled water, we need 22.12 grams. We'll need six grams of rose hydrosol, and you could use a different hydrosol if you prefer a different scent. This is our primary scenting ingredient, so choose something you like. We'll need 0 0.6 grams vegetable glycerin, 0 0.6 grams polyquaternium 7, 0 0.075 grams cetrimonium chloride, 0 0.15 grams powdered panthenol, 0.3 grams chromoliant SCE, and 0.15 grams liquid germal plus. So we're giving that a little stir. The bubbles are from the inclusion of the chromoliant SCE. I'm gonna just kind of take a look here through the side. And it looks like everything is dissolved really nicely and really quickly, so that's pretty much that. I don't think we need the little mini mixer, so we're just gonna pop this in our container. So for our container, I have a small 30 ml or one ounce bottle with a treatment pump top. So the inclusion of the uh, polycroternium 7 in here makes this just viscous enough that it does not mist well. And I know this because I tried it and the first time I tried to mist my hair, I just sort of shot a jet of, uh, of hair serum at my head which was obviously not quite what I was going for. So yeah, you definitely want a treatment pump for this one so that you can dispense just a teensy little pump of product. And there you go. You just made a gorgeous smooth and shine hair serum. I'll pump a little bit out so you can get a feel for the viscosity. 
But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please go down to the description box below this video to click through to find this post on my blog. So on my blog, you will find the full recipe written out, written instructions, links to all of the ingredients. And then you can also check out the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia for lots of information about what these different ingredients do, why they're in the product and substitution suggestions if you don't have them or can't get them. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time.